Hey everybody, today Rado previews a prototype of Super Truffle Pigs. But before I begin, please turn your subtitles onto the Klingon channel so that if I make rules goofs, you know what they are. And of course, I'm not Rado, I'm Shay Parker. I'm helping Rado cover even more games. Games like Super Truffle Pig, which is a uh, two to four player game where we are playing as Truffle Pigs. Uh, but we are playing as Truffle Pigs that are endowed with superpowers. And... We are obviously on a goal to gather as many truffles as we can, get a bunch of victory points, win the game, but there are these wolves that are out there and they're going to be trying to hunt us down. Thing is, our superpowers actually let us maneuver these wolves. We can't make them stop, but we can kind of plan out where they're going to go. Are these upside down? No, that's just a two. I thought that two was an upside down S. That's not how, anyways. Um, so we are going to be uh, moving around, collecting truffles, and then programming the wolf's movement in order to try to trap the other players. Because if we can get a wolf into the same space as a pig, these pigs get knocked out of the forest. Um, and we only have two of them, so if both of them come out, there are some consequences for that. But even just losing one is an issue. Now, we've also got some missions that we have um, acquired. You know, at the beginning of the game, you get three, you choose two. So on the left, uh, we've got, uh, we want to level up all the way. You start off at level one, which lets you do three actions. But if you level up to four or five, or sorry, second or third, whatever, it lets you do five actions here. So... I want to level up all the way. I also want to get one truffle of each color. And these would be hidden, but I'm just showing them off so you keep them in mind. These are what we're going for. Right Brain, on the other hand, uh, wants to collect two yellow, one white, and one black truffle, or, uh, or and, uh, wants to have the most white truffles at the end of the game. Now, the truffles here are of different values. White truffles are the least valuable, but they're also the easiest to pick up. It only takes one action to pick them up, whereas the yellow ones take two, the black ones take three actions to pick up, but the black ones are very valuable. So, uh, each of these truffles are worth points, we've got missions that are worth points, uh, the game is going to end, uh, in a two-player game, the game is going to end when all but three of the truffles have been picked up, uh, or if all the pigs have been knocked out of the forest. So let's get started with uh, left brain going first. First thing we're going to do is we are going to roll this wolf die. And that's going to determine, one, that we are adding a wolf to the board. So we're going to start by adding a gray wolf. And we are going to be putting out two of our uh, direction cards. But first, we need to spend uh, actions. We'll do our action phases first. Now, um, we have... Uh, I have three actions to work with, so I uh, can move m either of my little green pigs wherever I want. I want to level up all the way, and in order to do that, I'm going to need truffles. You need to spend two truffles in order to level up. So I'm thinking maybe I want to pick up something a little bit easier. Oh, and all of these uh, wolves should be facing north because the direction matters. So <clears throat> I think I'm going to start uh, just by taking... Let's see, this pig, well, uh, I, I do want to move the pigs around and, and get some truffles, but there are also these superpowers that I mentioned, and they can do some useful things, like this one I can knock out a wolf, uh, that just means it's, you know, out of the game for, well, for that round anyway. Uh, I can uh, do super twins, move both pigs two spaces in the same pattern, that would be useful if we weren't both on the opposite ends of the board. We did start off on these, uh, s these secret paths. And you can travel between them, but not useful right now. Anyway, uh, last one, super swap. I can swap one collected truffle with one in the forest, but the colors need to match. Now that's going to be useful because some of these truffles are worth zero. <clears throat> My throat closed up for a second. They are worth zero points. I was just so choked up by the fact that some of the truffles aren't worth any points. But with super swap, I could swap them out. But I'm not going to do any of that right now. Right now, I'm just going to, uh, let's see, I'll move. This one here, you know what, he's so close to that wolf, I don't want to risk it. I'm going to move him twice, and I'm going to have him collect this white truffle. And that is worth one point. So I'm going to grab that truffle there, and that's a point. That's cool. That's my uh, three actions. Now I'm going to take my direction cards, and I can put them on either uh, on the first slots of either of these tracks. These will move the brown and the gray wolves. And I need to play two cards because that's what the die uh, said. So I can go north, south, east, or west, or I can have whatever direction they're currently facing go two spaces that way. That's kind of a chaos thing, but now here's the, the trick is, do I think I can knock out one of the 
uh, purple pigs, but I need to figure out where they're going in order to answer that question. I really don't know what their behavior is at this point, so I'm not entirely sure, but if purple were to go to this space, this space has three truffles, it's really close, pretty valuable, then they would be in some danger. So I'm gonna take this two, and I'm gonna put it on the gray, or sorry, the, the brown wolf's track, because that would move it to this space. And then I think I'll just, not really sure what to do with this gray wolf yet, so I'm just gonna put something down. I'm gonna have it just go east again, because that's where the purple pig is. Uh, won't get there this turn regardless, but hey, maybe they'll go to that space. And now I switch it over to right brain. So I'm looking at this and I do see, you know, left brain's put out uh, a couple of direction cards. So I need to keep that in mind. I don't know exactly where the safe spots are, where the danger spots are, but I do know that I want white truffles. I see two white truffles down here. And like I said, these, these, you know, would be face down, so we wouldn't really know uh, what each other's missions are. So I don't think that left brain would be able to know that I'm going for these spaces, but that is still kind of dangerous. It's right next to a wolf. So there are some places that I do know are safe, but none of them have white truffles. So maybe I use a lightning strike, but then if I do that, I won't really be able to pick anything up. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. It's a tough decision. I think, I think I'm gonna go up here because I know that this is safe. Because uh, No matter what they put, it can't get all the way over there. So I'm gonna go one action, two actions, three. I'm gonna pick up that white truffle. Um, and this one, ah, this one's worth zero points. It's no good, but hey, that's okay because one, you can spend truffles to level up. Uh, and two, I just want to have the most anyway. So that's not too bad for me. Uh, and now I have to put out my two location cards. So I try to, I'm trying to think, where is, where, where did I, where do I think left brain pushed these wolves? I bet this one is going this way, just cause you know, that's where I am. I think it's just a basic thing. So I'm gonna, well, but then again, I don't know. I would put, it could go that way because that's another you know, valuable spot. So if I put an east there, then that could take out the uh, green pig. But if it's if I'm wrong, if it actually is going here, then that would take me out. So I don't want to do that. Instead, um, I'm just going to go, I'm going to do an east on the brown wolf since I'm not in danger of that at all. And I'm gonna do a west on the gray wolf. Now again, I don't have to do one for each. I could put them both on the brown wolf, but because I don't know exactly what's going on, I don't feel super safe doing that. So I think that's all I'm gonna do. However, um, that is the end of uh, my turn, which means that we are going to flip over all the cards and see what happens. Well, we've got two movement and east. Uh, brown wolf is gonna go one, two and it's gonna turn east and gonna go one space. So now this green pig's in danger. And we'll go to the gray wolves. It's gonna go east, it's gonna go west. So yeah, one and then back around. This gray wolf's all turned around, doesn't know what it's doing, but is uh, in a way that's really not threatening anybody at the moment. Now, I have finished a round, which means I pass over this die, and that's also telling me who the first player is and I start a new round. So I'm going to roll the die and see what happens. So we're putting out another wolf and we're just playing one card this time. You know, sometimes these come up with just numbers so we don't put out any wolves out. Sometimes they come up with uh, the sleeping, uh, sleeping moon, which means don't do anything this round. Um, but I have happened to roll the add the wolf uh, thing both times. So, we know that some of this, uh, some of these movements are gonna happen. We know the brown wolf is going to start by going one, two, and then it's gonna go east, which is gonna go all the way back here. Hey folks, so apparently I've been playing this game on hard mode, not an official hard mode, mind you, but uh, one that I made for myself because I got a rule wrong. And that rule is that when you are moving the wolves, you don't actually use the cards that were played in previous rounds. You only use the cards that are flipped this round. Now I actually still like playing the game the way that I was playing it, um, so you can consider that as an unofficial hard mode, uh, but that is not the way it is supposed to be played, so keep that in mind going forward. 
pigs can't cross the map uh, and go to the other side, but wolves can. So green pig, both of these green pigs are in danger. Uh, but that doesn't bother me. I'm right brain. I, I'm only worried about the, uh, the purple pigs. The gray wolf is going to go east and west again, stays where it is. That's fine. Fine by me. And I'm trying to figure out what is going to be good for me. How am I going to get more uh, white truffles? I know that this brown wolf is going to go one, two, three. So maybe if I'm there, that's a little bit dangerous. But I get to choose, I'm sorry, I get to play my uh, direction card first. So I can decide where that wolf is going to go. I think, yeah, I'm going to go one, two. Let me get another white truffle. And this is, ooh, this is ST. This is a super truffle. What this does, it doesn't get me any points, but it will allow me to use any of these superpowers for free. So if I wanted to, I could maybe use a lightning strike and zap away one of those wolves. But I actually think I'm going to hold on to that because... That could be a lot more useful later on. Now, I've done uh, one, two actions. I've got one more action left. I could upgrade, which will get me more actions in future rounds. But I do want to hold on to these truffles, so I don't know if I want to do that yet. I think I'm going to start chomping on... Uh-oh. <sighs> the thing I didn't take into account, which is that the brown wolf here is going to go one, two, and then east. But this brown wolf is also going to go one, two, and then going to go east. So... This piggy is in danger, and I didn't think about that. So maybe I want to do something else. I think, I think I'm just going to have to go one. I'm going to have to push them back and push them back to where they were. Or you know what? I'm going to use the super truffle. I'm going to use that right now. Use the super truffle, throw that away, and I'm going to use super twins. This card allows me to move both the pigs uh, two spaces in the same pattern. So, I'm going to discard this card. I can move both of them in the same pattern. I think if I go two spaces up, this get, that gets this pig into a better position. This pig, again, can't go uh, any farther, but from here, I can spend my last action to go one more space here. So now I think I'm uh, in a much safer position. And I get to put out another movement card. So we had this one, it was gonna go one, two, and then east. This one is gonna go one, two, and then east. So they're both gonna be on this line. This wolf, the gray wolf is gonna go east and west again. Maybe I want one of these guys to go south. Maybe, yeah, I'm gonna put my south card on the brown wolves. because I'm pretty far north. I'm, that may be dangerous later on, we'll see. Um, I do know that the they can't go through these walls, so I, I do want to use that to my advantage at some point, but for now, this is all i got to work with. So uh, that seems okay for now, and we're going to pass it back to left brain. All right. I, I definitely want to level up, so I need to pick up more truffles, but I also need to uh, use both of the... Um, I need to use, uh, I need to move both of these pigs because they are both in danger. I would have loved to use the super twins, but that one is out of the game now. So, can't do that. And those cards aren't going to get replaced until, uh, until the end of the round. So, this is all I've got to work with. Although, that lightning strike might be pretty important. I could knock out this wolf. So one of my pigs won't be. But I think it might be better just to move them. And they'll, they'll be in better positions after that anyway. So I'm going to go one and then two. And I think I'm going to start chomping on one of these yellow truffles. Now, it takes two actions to dig one of them up. I say chomping. They're, they're digging them up. It takes two actions to do that. So uh, to show that I have, you know... Uh, have put one action into it. I'm just going to put this little pig. I have, I do not have steady hands, but it's fine. I put uh, the pig on top of the truffle to show that I've put a little bit of effort into digging that one up. And that is where we're sitting right now. And now I need to put out a card. I don't know what's going on, but I do know that these are going to be around here. They might be a little bit south, maybe a little bit east. I don't think they, that right brain would have pushed them north. 
So I'm going to put another card onto the brown wolves. And because there are four cards, that means that this row will be refreshed at the end of the round. Uh, in a two-player game, you refresh at four. Three to four players, you refresh at five. Um, so those cards are going to come back to us. But that's the end of the round, so let's move those wolves. And we reveal south-north. So they're, yeah, they're doing a little uh, backwards and forwards. This one goes one, two, and then back to east. Oh! Well, this is unfortunate. Unfortunate for me, anyway. Because this one goes south. Oh, I should have seen that coming. But I didn't know where it was going to go. Ah, that was... That was just me being silly. So, unfortunately, my pig gets knocked out. He's now out of the forest. And now I'm only working with one pig. That is an issue, but because you're splitting your actions between the pigs, it's not insurmountable. Uh, I think there are cards that might get your pig back. But also, if uh, my last pig gets uh, knocked out of the forest, I can bring him back by giving one of my troubles to the other player. So that was unfortunate, but let's keep going. Life goes on, so one, two, go east, we go south, and then we go back north. So this guy is looking this way, and then the gray wolf goes go back east and west, still where it is. And now these cards return to the players. Well, that was not ideal for me, but I'm gonna be first player in the next turn. We got a new card out, this one's X-Ray Vision. I can look at the truffles on any one forest tile. That might be pretty good to use for some of these, uh, like, three truffle spaces, or I guess the only three truffle spaces that's left. And so now we still know that the gray wolf is going to be moving, but the brown wolves are a mystery again. So I roll the die, and we're just going to be uh, placing one card, and we're not going to add that second gray wolf just yet. So what do I want to do? Now I've only got this one pig to worry about. Gray Wolf's going to go east and west, so don't really need to worry about that. I think I'm going to uh, dig dig, pick up this yellow truffle, uh, and that's worth two. Whew, I want to use these truffles to level up, but two points is the most valuable a yellow truffle can be, so maybe I should use that, I should save it, grab uh, a white truffle later on, but maybe not. It might be worth it just to get more actions, because the earlier I get more actions, the better it is. So, I think, yeah, I think, um... I think I'm going to exchange those truffles. Oh, that's losing three points, though. I know there's less valuable stuff. Ah, uh, that hurts too much. I can't do it. I'm not going to give up that many points. Um, but I do have one more action left. I'm going to go to this corner here, because that's where the purple one is, and I feel like uh, I'm, I'm safer there. So, passing it over to right brain. All right, great. Oh, no, before I pass it over, I need to put out one of these. I'm gonna make them go north. So I'm gonna put my north in on this space. Maybe we can attack that pig, we'll see. I I'm, uh, yeah, but I don't know. who knows, who knows? Right brain is, seems to be in a better position, even though I have significantly fewer points and that I have no points and left brain has three, I do still have both of my pigs on the board. I could zap one, but I think maybe I wanna just start picking up truffles. I've got a purple pig here and the green pigs showing up in this space. And I don't want them to have anything uh, useful. So I'm gonna go dig, dig. Uh, it takes two actions to pick up a yellow one. So I've got a one point yellow truffle. That's not too bad. And I think I'm going to start digging uh, up one of these black truffles. I feel like I'm pretty safe right now. So I don't need to move anywhere. I don't really need to do the lightning strike. Um, and the other things I'm not so sure about just now. So I'm fine with what we've got. Um, I also, you know what? I, I think I'm okay with doing this. This is a free action. Uh, I'm going to spend two truffles, and I am going to level up my pig. Since these weren't getting me that many points these weren't that give me that many points anyway. I don't mind throwing them away. And now, on the next round, I will have four actions to work with. So that was uh, my turn. Now let's add a direction card. We could make the uh, gray wolf a little bit more dangerous, although it's hard to put it anywhere special because, you know, it's got some of these things. But maybe if we make it go south. 
So I'm gonna put my south card into the gray, just kind of spice it up a little bit more. Um, so we reveal the cards. We got north, we got south, and uh, brown goes first. So they go one space forward, one space forward. Now this brown wolf is at a wall, which means it's not actually going to be able to go anywhere on the next one, next turn, or at least it won't be able to go north. It'll still do the next cards. Uh, the gray wolf still goes east west, and then it's going to go south. And so with any, without any other movement, it's going to go down here on the next turn. But um, the die passes to me, and I roll it. Oh, we got that last wolf out. See what we're going to do with these gray wolves. And we're going to put out one card. Now that all the wolves are put out, we can ignore the wolf face on this die. And in the future, we're just, you know, putting out those, uh, putting out cards for the, what the die tells us to do. In the meantime, I've got a couple actions. I don't want this paint, this green pig to get anything, so maybe I pick up that last trouble, but I am, oh, starting here, I think I'm gonna go one, two, to pick up this black truffle. That gets me two points. Well, black truffles are two or three, still pretty good. And then I'm going to spend my last, oh no, I have four actions now, so I can still go one, two, and pick up this last yellow one. And that one is worth two points as well. I'm doing great on this. Uh, good times are abound for the purple pig, but I still need to place a card. So I know the brown uh, wolf is gonna be here as of right now. This one's gonna stay where it is. The gray wolf, east, west, south. So they're basically these two wolves are gonna swap and these two wolves are gonna be sharing a position. I don't want them to go east or west. So I could put a double here. That would be a little bit funky. I could put a north if I just want to have them keep going uh, back and forth, just confused. Or I could put something on one of the brown walls. But I only have east, north, and movement two. These two cards are going to be useless for this brown wolf. And this one too, because it'll hit this wall right here. So if I wanted to move them east, that would get this brown wolf out of where it's hiding. Of course, that will be a little bit dangerous for me in future rounds. So I don't want to do that. I'm going to... I'm just going to stick to the gray wolves, and they've been kind of stuck where they are, so I'm going to go east for them, and we'll pass it back over. All right, now what do I want to do with my one pig that oh, couldn't even pick up any, any truffles? I think i got to go for this black truffle. I feel relatively safe, and if I start digging it up, then purple can't get it. I really need to get more actions, though. I, I should have I should have spent these two in the last round. I think I'm going to spend them now, even though it still hurts. And I, I really should have done it in the last round. Oh, you know what? No, I'm not going to do it yet. Because once I get this black truffle, I will have completed my mission. And then I can put it on the completed side. And after that's done, then I'll, then I'll do it. But for now... I've got to put something out on these wolves. The grays, they're going a lot of places. I don't know where that's going to be, but I think I want to try and uh, get... I could put a west if I wanted to knock myself out, but I don't want to do that at all. So, yeah, I can't really do much with the brown wolves. I think I'm just going to put something else on gray. They're going to be, what is it, east, west, south, and then somewhere. I don't think that, uh, I don't think the right brain would have gone east or west. And I certainly don't want them to go east. So I'm going to put this west there. And now we are going to reveal, although we move the brown wolf first, north, this one can't go anywhere. Gray, east, west, south, east, west. And then this one does the same. South, east, west. Yeah. Okay. So they do, they're pretty stuck on the center line. It's not not too bad, not too good for me, but um, it is. It's okay. I really kind of want to use 
one of these guys. I wonder if it wouldn't be good, a good idea for me to super swap my good yellow uh, truffle for one of the other ones. Then I can maybe go there and pick it up later. Um, but, uh, and then when I, when I trade it in, I won't be losing something more valuable. It's a little risky, but I think I can pull it off. Uh, but before that happens, we get our cards back. So I get my east and west back. My north is still on the brown wolves. Let's see how much we're putting out. Uh, two cards. This is going to be, they're energetic tonight. We haven't gotten any, uh, any moons, any reprieve from the wolf's constant chase. But as it is, I'm okay. I'm going to take my first action to get this truffle. It is two-pointer. That's fine. Uh, it does allow me to complete my mission, though. So I'm just going to put that up here. I'm going to get an extra three points at the end of the game. And I, let's see, that was one action to do that. I think, I think I am going to use the super swap. So I'm going to use my second action to swap out this one for this one. Well, it's another two. You know what? I tried. I still, I need to level up. So I'm going to get rid of these two truffles leveling up. That's fine. Next, next round, I'll be okay. Uh, and I've got one more. Uh, movement, one more action. I know this is worth two, so I'm going to head towards it. And I should be pretty safe from everything else. Uh, but I do want to... Well, you know what? Now I want to put some pressure on purple. So I'm going to put this double move on the gray wolf. That'll move these both of these to these corners. And... I mean, I'm going to do another another west too. This means that both of these have to move in order to be safe. And I don't know if um, purple is really going to have time to do that. If they they might just to you know protect themselves, but we shall see. Oh yeah, and I used super swap, so this card gets discarded. All right, going over to right brain. All right, I'm seeing I have got black and a yellow. I do always want more white truffles, but I'm not in a good position for those. I also see some danger from uh, this gray wolf, so I think I might want to go uh, down here. The brown wolf is, is going north. Maybe I can put the wolf. I know what I can do. And they only have one trouble, so I can put uh, green in danger. First, I'm going to go one, two, and... You know what? I do need another uh, yellow one for this one, so I'm just going to uh, dig, dig, and grab... Ah, oh, it's a zero. A little zero. Truffle, that's fine. Um, so I've done one, two, dig, dig. That's my four actions, because I'm level two. Uh, but I'm looking at my movement. Now, Brown Wolf is going to go north one space, then I'm going to have it go east, and then I'm going to do the double move on the brown. I can't do that. I can't do that because that'll hit my own pig. I got so excited about being able to use this one to go there, but I can't make it do that. But I, I can still make this work because I can make it go west. Brown wolf will go west, cross it to the other side, and then I can make it go south. So let's reveal uh, the wolves. West and south, double and west. All right, so brown wolves go north, can't go there. West and south knocks out the second pig. Um, and then this one goes the same thing, uh, north, west, south. And then the gray ones go, uh, whoa, one, two, and west. That knocks me out, that's unfortunate. And then this one goes one, two, and one more. So there's only one pig on the field. And uh, oh, and we replace this card, but now we need to, or uh, left brain needs to make a choice. Do I think that I can win with what I have right now, i.e. two points and three points, so five? Um, I mean, the answer to that is no, really, uh, because, uh, you know, they've got, Points, I, I'm actually sure if these are supposed to be case down or not, but 
So they've got three truffles at the very least. I don't think I can win. Uh, it's unfortunate though, because the way that I get back is I have to give one of my truffles to the other player. So now they have a lot more than I, than I do, but I am still in the game. Um, and I put it on the, the secret path. That was rough. I tell you, that was rough for me. Um, and it, now Purple Pig did get knocked out. That's not nothing. But I think from now on, from here on, my strategy would have to be getting the wolves to attack uh, Purple. Like really focusing on that, trying to, to figure out where they're going. Because if I can do that, I can maybe get one of those truffles back. Um, in the meantime, we're going to keep going. We're going to keep getting some truffles. We're going to keep uh, using some of these powers. Uh, the new one came out. It was Super Dash. Dash through four tiles, knocking out any wolves in the, uh, in the path. That's kind of cool. It does cost three, though. Um, and so we would keep going like that. We got our missions that we're going for. We keep going until all but uh, three truffles remain or until bo or both players have no pigs left on the board. And then that would be the end of the game. We'd count up our points and we see who won. Um, so if you want to hear my final thoughts on this game, why don't you click on the link in the top right corner or in the show notes below. And I will see you folks there in three, two, one. Bye-bye.